everyone! Today I'll be showing you how you can make this really fun macrame design that you can add in your wall hangings. Let's get started. Start by attaching one rope to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Now we're going to take the right side and attach it to our dowel rod with another lark's head knot. To do this we just send that end over our dowel rod to form a loop, twist it around, and then send it through the loop. Then I'm going to take that same end and send it behind my dowel rod to form the loop, then send it right through that loop, and I'm going to pull it tight. Now we're going to attach five ropes to this section with another lark's head knot. So just take each cord and fold them evenly in half, send them over that string, and attach them with a normal lark's head knot. Once you've attached your ropes, we're going to go ahead and remove some of this empty space and slack. So I'm just going to kind of loosen up my lark's head knot and then start pulling it tight. Then I do the same on the other side. Just like that. Now I will take the cord here on the far left and I'm going to point it down and to the right following along the line of Lark's head knots and tie five double half hitch knots around this rope. Now, take the cord all the way on the far right, point it down towards the left, and repeat the same process using these five cords. Now we will connect both sections of our double half hitch knots together by just tying the two leading ropes together with another double half hitch knot. So I'm just crossing the left over the right, then tying that right cord around the left. Just like that. Now I'm going to start working in groups of four and with these four cords I'm going to tie berry knots. 
and a berry knot is made by tying three square knots in a row. Make sure you leave just a little bit of a gap between your row of double half hitch knots and your first square knot. After you've tied all three square knots, send the two cords in the middle up through the gap up top above your square knots. Once they're through, just keep pulling on them until your berry knot rounds and forms. Then secure with another square knot. Move on to the next four chords and repeat. If you ever have trouble sending your middle cords through the middle gap, you, you can send the left middle cord through the left gap and the right middle cord through the right gap. Repeat again with the last four chords. Now we will tie a second row of double half hitch knots from both directions underneath the berry knots. So I will start with the cord on the left and point it down diagonal to the right and tie five double half hitch knots.
Connect your two leading ropes together once again by tying another double half hitch knot. Just like that, our fun little design is now complete. You guys can make this pattern bigger by just adding more ropes to this section here so that you can have more berry knots in your project. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.